Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to set up a server network with bungee cord. So how it works exactly, first off I'm going to show you this little image here. You have to have one server that acts as the main server. This is also called the proxy. And the rest of the game servers are called nodes. So basically one server is only used for teleportation and cannot be played on, that's the proxy. The rest of your nodes are the game servers with whatever game style you want on them, like survival, mini games, creative, whatever. So now let's go over some of the requirements for setting up a Bungie network. Bungie Core demands at least two game servers. They have to be running and ready to be configured. But three or more is recommended and you'll understand why in just a minute. First of all, Bungie Cord needs one server for just traffic directional usage. That means a whole server is used only to send players back and forth between your network. This server cannot be joined and not played on. So its only purpose is teleportation. That server's the proxy as I was talking about earlier. Secondly, it is also highly recommended to use one server as a hub server. This means that this server only contains portals to other game servers. So for example, if a player joins your server network, you'll be able to go through your nether portals to join your survival, mini games, creative, or any other servers connected to your network from the hub server. This is convenient as a hub acts as a lobby server where the player can choose what type of server he or she wants to join, basically. The rest of the servers are actually game servers uh, where that you're players can actually play on. In this tutorial will uh, create four different servers and link them together. So these are the four servers that we're going to be putting together basically. You don't have to have four, you need at least three, but as I was saying before, there's one proxy server, which will be the main one, and then there is the hub server, which you really don't need a hub server. You can have players join a specific game server and have them switch using the slash server command. but it's usually recommended to have a server, a hub server, or a lobby server, as some call it, so that you can have portals. Uh, that one's not really played on either, it's just a lobby basically, so people can choose which servers they want to go to. So to install Bungie Cord, uh, first you want to start with a spigot server. If you don't already have it installed, I'll show you how to real quick. You go to type, change, and go to spigot. Make sure to use the latest version. I'll click to remove all files. Yes. Now that we have spigot installed, uh, you'll want to download Bungie Cord, and you can download that from here. You want to get the latest version. You can either download it to your computer and then upload it, or you can right click and copy link address. When you copy the link address, you can go to file manager for that server, go to the root directory, which you're already in when you go to the file manager, click upload file, and you can paste that link that you copied here. Upload from web, and it should be uploaded right here. After you've uploaded the file, you'll want to go to the server page, my server page, go to jar file, and choose the bungee cord jar. Save and restart. This will restart the server with all the necessary files and settings on the server. After the server has been restarted, let's go back to the file manager. And you'll want to go down to the config YML file right here. Open that. This is the file that we're going to be configuring. So in this, you will uh, need to configure Bungie Cord to be able to receive connections and send players to your different game servers. Uh, for the proxy server, by the way, I recommend at least uh, 512 megabytes or half a gig of RAM. Uh, you might need more later uh, if you have more players being active on the server at one time, but half a gig should be just fine for now. So now we want to find the host line, which is right here and you want to change just this to your server's IP address. So let's go back and get your server IP address and port, and that would be right here. Copy that, and we can go back to the config file, and from here we will want to paste this in, and that is where you want your server's IP address. Now that we have that there, we want to save, and restart the server.
Now we'll want to set up the hub server. Uh, this is not required, but is definitely recommended as it's nice for users to join a lobby before having to choose which game or server she or he or she wants. So first of all, you'll need an installation of Spigot, which we have here. Uh, the latest version is recommended, of course. And first off, we should probably turn online mode off. Uh, you'll need to do this for all the servers except the proxy server. Save and restart. So now that we've done that, we'll want to copy the IP address of the new hub server that we're going to use. And we'll want to go back to the proxy server. Go back into the files and go to the config YML and under servers you'll see lobby you want to set that up and paste the IP of the hub server that you want there save that and after saving that let's go back to my server and restart it so now we're gonna set up a node server or a game server First, we want to make sure to have something installed. We don't have to have Spigot on this one. It can be vanilla or Craft Bucket. Basically, whatever you want. Uh, and then copy the IP from here. Uh, we'll go back once again to the Bungie Cord server. Go to the File Manager. And once again to the Config YML. Under Servers, we'll want to add a new server. So, space, you want to do name it whatever you want in this case I'll just name it server one enter four spaces and you're basically copying what the lobby one is except in this case we're going to paste the new uh, node server IP address and enter space 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 restricted we want to say false and for message of the day, you can say whatever you want here. Spigot server survival. And we're done with that. So save. And we said that we were going to set up two of them. So I'm going to go back into the config. I'm going to copy this, press enter and paste. And this is going to be changed to server 2. I'm going to change the message of the day to creative. And we want to go over and find that last server's IP address and paste that in place. So now we can save that and we should have all the servers set up. So now let's go back to my server, restart. Now, in setting up the node servers, you also want to be sure that these are set to offline mode. Save and restart. And online mode, disabled, and save and restart. The only server that should be in online mode is the original proxy server here. Now, lastly, we want to go back to the final manager go back to the config YML under the bungee cord server uh, scroll all the way down and you'll find the groups here you can add yourself to give yourself admin privileges in this case my username is Sai Kitsune don't forget to add the colon here so now in this case uh, when I join the bungee cord network I will have admin privileges I don't want this person so I'll backspace and save that. Once saved, I can go back and restart the server again. Uh, I would recommend going back through and restarting every server that you have just to make sure everything is set up correctly. And when you want to join your network, you have to go through the Bungie Cord proxy server, which is the server running Bungie Cord Jar. You have to either use this IP address here or you can use the host name. 
When you log into that, it should go into the default server, which would be the lobby. All right, so that's how you set up and install Bungie Core to your servers. I hope you guys enjoyed.